Attracting a lover who is committed to your heart, your well-being, your evolution, and the expansion of your pleasure is not a small feat. It doesn't take a genius to hook up with a guy, but it does take a conscious woman to inspire him to fall in love and show up day in and day out in service of you and the relationship. So today, I'll be revealing what are the five emotional traits you can cultivate starting today that will inspire a great man to fall head over heels in love with you and do it not just for now, but for the long haul. Men often have an inability to express precisely what they want, but they know it when they feel it. And let me tell you, it has nothing to do with your achievements, nothing to do with your height, nothing to do with your income, everything to do with the way he feels when he's around you, the expression of his heart when he is in your company, the way he feels more intensely alive as a result of you being in his orbit. So what I'm gonna be describing today are ways for you to connect, cut through the noise, and connect straight to his heart in a way where there's a combination of two things, emotional connection and desire, which is what's necessary for the relationship to go to the next level. And the three top reasons why this traits that I'm describing right now are so important for you to embody is because, number one, they make your life immensely better regardless of what guy shows up in your life. So this is something that will add more joy, more meaning, and more intensity to your life. Number two, they will serve as a filtering mechanism in this way. If you're showing up this way consistently with someone and the guy doesn't have it in him to step up, to fall in love, to do whatever it takes to pursue you, then you can filter out anything on your side and you can walk away from that situation knowing that you're not wasting time with them, but also that the next person you connect with will find you that more alluring and more magnetic because you've been practicing a way of life that makes you more resonant with men. And the third reason is because these virtues combine both the emotional connection and desire that are necessary for him to kick it up a gear and do more and get uncomfortable to pursue you, to ask you out, to secure exclusivity and ultimately to commit to you for life. The first one is inner fire or life force. And that is that unmeasurable but uniquely felt experience when someone shows up in your life and you don't know what's happening but you feel more intensely alive, you feel more connected, you feel happier, you feel more joy, you feel more safety, you feel an air of something different taking place just through the sheer presence of that person. That's something you can cultivate inside of you. That's something that's your birthright. That's something you can do irrespective of what man shows up in your life. There's three top ways you can focus on cultivating a stronger inner fire and life force. And the first one has to do with your rituals. What are the rituals you are committing to, rain or shine, that will help you be the best version of yourself? Because life is so hard as it is, if you don't have something that is a systematic way for you to burn anger and anxiety and reconnect with that part of you that is grateful and is alive and is expressive, then the world will tend to oppress you and opaque you and diminish your shine. And the more life goes on with you not expressing your shine, the less attractive you become. Forget about men, to your own self. Second is people. Who are the people you are surrounding yourself with? And are these people uplifting you, helping you be more connected, helping you feel more proud of yourself? Or are these people oppressing you, diminishing you, and causing anxiety that's unnecessary in your life? The third one is the risks. Sarah Blakely, the first woman billionaire on this planet, sat down with her dad every night and he asked her a question, which was, how did you fail today? And she had to come up with an answer. And if she hadn't failed, that means she hadn't tried enough. She hadn't risked enough. So where are you risking your life right now that creates that feeling of adventure, that creates that feeling of your heart meeting the world? The second virtue you can cultivate is openness. Again, this is one of those things that men can't necessarily describe. I'm looking for someone who's open, but they will feel it from 10 miles away if you're open versus closed. And openness starts with openness of body. How do you show up? How comfortable are you in your own skin? How is your breath showing up? How are your shoulders? How is your facial expression? Are you making eye contact? The openness in you will invite men in your life or will reject them without even knowing that you're doing so. The second is openness of heart. Are you able to alchemize the pain in your life 
and turn it into something good? Can you find the gift in the things that are happening to you? Not that you would wish them upon yourself or someone else, but can you find that alchemy of turning crap into gold through consciously choosing to forgive, consciously choosing to move away from people who can't hold your boundaries, from consciously choosing to explore what else is out there, not just with your mind, but with vulnerability in your heart. And the third one is openness of mind. Are you open to new ideas? Are you open to learning about things that you're not necessarily comfortable with? The combination of these three creates an irresistible air around you that makes the right guy feel incredibly compelled to be in your presence. Third is vulnerability, and that's your ability to share your truth and your needs, even though it's risky, even though it's scary, and even though someone might use it against you. So you do this in stages. You don't connect with someone and express your deepest thoughts and feelings and shares from the get-go. You express a little bit more than you feel comfortable with, and then once you interact with that person and you see how he shows up, is he more present? Is he stepping into integrity as you're sharing this? Is he more vulnerable with you? Is he more pursuant? And as this dance takes place, you express a little more. And at any point in this give and share, you can pause, you can ask for feedback, you can close up, you can say goodbye, but you start from the premise that if you don't allow a man to understand your needs, if you're so fiercely independent that you don't need anything or anyone, quote unquote, even though you do internally, then he's not going to feel that he's able to add value in your life in such a way that he's willing to risk it all and fall head over heels in love with you and commit to you for life. Now, if you're listening to me right now and you're single, my hypothesis is you may not be fully aware of the root cause of why you're still single. And what I've done is I've taken over 12 years of helping women around the world in multiple love challenges, different life stages, different age groups to find love, sustainable love, and put it together in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds. So if you want to understand the number one reason you're still single, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the question why you're still single and a report that's gonna show you based on your specific blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. The fifth virtue is expressiveness. And there's so much I could talk about regarding expressiveness, but I'm going to define it as expressiveness of your uniqueness. What makes you different? What makes you you? The DNA of your heart and soul, how can you express it more viscerally, more courageously, and more consistently to the men around you? Here's why. Because too many women are very concerned about being judged, about being rejected through showing something that's uniquely theirs. But if the guy that you're with rejects you for the truth of who you are, he's not the right guy for you. But if you show up with more of the truth of who you are, the right guy will fall more deeply for you. He will find you more compelling. He will find you more unique. He will find a bigger range in your expression that will be the necessary component that he, that's gonna take him from being interested to being pursuant, from being pursuant to wanting exclusivity, from wanting exclusivity to wanting a life commitment. You need to show up more of who you are. You need to lose the fear of guys thinking less of you because of something that's uniquely yours. If the guy thinks less of you for something that's part of your blueprint and DNA, then he is not the right guy for you and you'll never be happy with him long term. As the late Wayne Dyer once said, don't die with your music still inside you. And the last one is self-worth. Self-worth in action. Self-worth in the way you ask for what you want. Self-worth in your capacity to say no. Self-worth in your capacity to walk away from situations that are not meeting your standards so that the guy can either step up or step down. Here's what happens when you set a boundary with kindness and the guy is the right guy for you, he's going to understand and he's going to act better in a way that makes you feel safer to continue the relationship. When you don't express boundaries, the guy can't value you the way you need to be valued. He doesn't understand. Guys need to be checked. And the way to check them is with kindness, with respect. And once you do that, the right guy will feel more for you, not less. Hope you find this useful and insightful. And if you do, it will mean a lot to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to understand how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, 
manipulation, tricks, or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.